Hey guys, it's time for another game of five questions with Seth. This time it is the Nativity Edition, another holiday uh, uh, version of the game. Um, so we'll jump right in. As usual, I'll give you a little synopsis of the Nativity and then we'll jump into some questions. Uh, the Nativity. I love this story. Uh, I think it was brewing in me for a while, which we'll, which we'll probably get to later in the Q&A. Uh, so the Nativity is about uh, this, the shop owner, um, uh, Allison Tancredi. And she puts up this nativity scene every year out in front of her shop. In fact, it was in her family before that, and the, the scene had already been there. Uh, this one year, for whatever reason, the town decides to get uh, uh, very politically correct, if you will, and they would really want to de-Christmas as much as the town as possible. So they put an edict out that this woman has to remove her nativity scene. Um, of course, she doesn't want to, and it becomes this big uh, challenge. Uh, the town starts putting pressure uh, on Allison um, in ways that actually affects her ability to operate her store and she starts losing income because of it. Um, and it becomes really challenging for her to keep the doors open. Um, uh, Ryan Talley, uh, a reporter, happens to be in town, catches wind of the story and, and the challenge that Allison's going through and actually kind of, kind of takes her case on a little bit, if you will, as a journalist. Um, so the town ups their ante as uh, Allison tries to fight back a little bit, um, and they literally take the nativity from her. Um, and uh, uh, Ryan hatches this plan um, to you know, help Allison out, uh, help her store out, uh, and quite frankly, try to drive at the heart of the town. Um, so that's really the story of the nativity, is this, this battle of um, folks that are, are good with Christmas, uh, being out there uh, and, and those that you know want to see it stifle a little bit and quiet it down and, and perhaps even go away. Uh, so it's, it's the fight to keep Christmas alive. But of course uh, it's, a, it's Christmas romance so it's very much about the relationship between uh, Allison and Ryan as it develops uh, in the course of this uh, drama of trying to save her store and save the nativity. Um, that's, uh, that's the nativity. Uh, go check it out. You obviously have to give it a read. Um, first question, what inspired the, the, the nativity? Um, kind of like I, I said in the, the intro, I, the nativity's kind of been gnawing at my head and my heart for, uh, for a number of years. Um, hearing stories about people literally stealing nativity pieces off of lawns, whether it's church lawns, private lawns, uh, stores, people protesting, um, people you know, literally putting town edicts in that you can't have nativity pieces placed. Uh, most typically it's going to be in, in, time, in terms of a, a civic um, or municipal uh, setting, but even in cases of private settings, people have tried to um, do that. Um, in my whole spirit of the whole thing, it's, okay, this time of year, it's all about peace on earth, goodwill towards men. Um, I don't care if you're Christian, Catholic, Jewish, Buddhist, whatever. Um, as long as the, the message is positive, let it go. Um, you're not Christian and somebody wishes you Merry Christmas, say thanks. Um, it means they're thinking of you in a positive way. Somebody w wishes me Happy Hanukkah, I'm not Jewish, I, I, I'll, I'll take it with great joy. Thank you. Um, that's kind of the message of the nativity uh, from an overall scheme, um, along with the romance between Allison and Ryan. Uh, writing romance different than in romance in a writing a thriller? Uh, good question. Um, most of my, th I'm, all my books, uh, Pretty much all my books, there's a romantic element to it. Uh, even my really hardcore thrillers uh, that are way more about uh, you know explosions and gunfights than than the kissy stuff. Um, the the difference in, in romance is um, writing how the two come together. Um, in writing a thriller, people with a shared experience that's traumatic. Um, there's a natural pull towards one another. Uh, especially when there's a fight to life, right? Uh, they're just trying to, trying to hold each other together. There's a natural bond that sorts of occurs. Uh, in a romance, it's it's more organic, right? It's that natural thing that most of us at different points of our lives uh, chase after, um, and it's much more typical of that. It's you know, two single people in a town coming together, uh, feeling each other out, um, uh, getting to know each other, and then allowing that to build into a full-fledged relationship, uh, along with the influences that are around them. 
Uh, how do I get into the Christmas writing spirit? That is a really good question. And I will promise you, I'm not writing a Christmas story in July or August sitting on the beach. I'm just not. I can't. Uh, my brain, I've got to be in the moment. Uh, you know, throw me in a snowy lodge somewhere and I will write Christmas all day long. Um, you know, my wife and I have a, a Hallmark marathon. I'll get in the Christmas spirit and I'll, I'll do some writing. Um, so for me, it, it's all about the setting, and for me, it's time of year. It's got to be in the heart. If if I'm not in the heart of Christmas, I can't write a Christmas story. Um, I just can't. Not well. Um, but you know, I'll throw in things. I, I've said this in other uh, Q and A's. Um, you know, I'll create playlists, uh, and, and it's not just Christmas music. It's Christmas music that fits the story, that fits the mood of what's going on in that particular Christmas story. Uh, so those are the things that help me get in the mood. Um, you know, sometimes it's a a uh, cup of cocoa or, or what have you, you know, fire in the fireplace, a uh, little Christmas tree, all those things are super helpful because it's all about mood setting, uh, drawing my passion out as a human being into these stories that I write. Uh, writing sensitive or divisive subject stories, um, like the nativity. Um, there are people that are going to be pro and con whether people should have nativity scenes out on a sidewalk or on their their personal property or public property, whatever it is. And I'm okay with that. I'm not saying that you have to believe one way or the other. I'm not saying you have to be on one side of the story or the other. Uh, what I do suggest is you should probably be civil in how you go about whichever side of the story that you're on. Um, and I try to do that in all my books. Uh, starting back with my very first thriller series, the Sean Kendall series, um, I would write about topics for me that were kind of um, you know, hard hitting. It could be it could be immigration at the border. For me as a writer, um, I'm actually going to spend some time understanding it, understanding it from both sides. Um, I want to understand why um, an immigrant is going to try to come across the border to the United States. And when you do that, you start to get to their heart. Why are they willing to, frankly, break a law to come into this country? And, and when you start to get that, and I think about it as a parent, if down there. I know with my family, my son, I'm going to try to get him into the best experiences possible. Um, and if that means going across somebody's border to try to give them that better life, I'm going to do it. Now, do I agree with it? Should it be that way? Uh, no. Um, but that's the point, right? There's two sides to all these stories, and it's, it's trying to understand it a little bit better. And when you do, hopefully as a writer, I write a better complete story. Um, but as a human being, we start to understand that none of us are really as divided as we think we are. Um, and I think we can all have some sympathy uh, towards what most things are said. Um, that's not that right. Um, here, <laughs> I, I usually throw in a question from a fellow writer uh, out there. Um, launching two holiday books in one year, why? And as a follow-up, are you crazy? Um, Answer to the second question, yes, I probably am. Um, it's not, uh, from a business perspective, it's a risk for sure, putting two holiday books out because I need to be able to do marketing, I need to draw that attention, I need to build up the readership. Um, and now I need to do on two books that are frankly competing. Um, one, I'll do things like staggered launches, um, the Nativity and the Tree Farm, both coming out this year. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm doing that is this is the year of COVID. Um, so for one, people are at home more. I've been at home more. Um, while I've had lots of interest in my, my commercial business enterprise, um, there's been fewer signings and people moving forward with, with new pieces. So it's given me a little bit more time to work on some of these things. Um, but it just seemed right. Um, I've had these stories um, in my heart, my head, get them out there, uh, get them out those so people can read them. Uh, and the tree farm and, and the nativity are, are a little bit different. Um, nativity is straight up Christmas, straight up um, romance, where the tree farm is more the entire bulk of the holiday season, almost starting from Halloween all the way through to, to New Year's. Um, and it's about that, that family going through that process as they're going through a tough time. The nativity is all about, it is Christmas time, um, and it's, it's more about the room. So there's slightly different stories, um, so people might want to pick up the tree farm earlier in the season and read it, and then pick up the nativity um, a little bit later and, and give it a read. Um, but yeah, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it was necessarily the right decision, but um, you know, it's a story. Uh, the story had to be told, and the story's got to be read, so uh, they're both out there. Uh, that's it for Five Questions with Seth, the Nativity Edition. Um, I look forward to uh, visiting with you on the, the next um, 
uh, next outing, next book I, I put out there, we'll do another one of these. Uh, like always, um, if you don't already have a copy of the Nativity, pick it up. Um, when you can, shop local, especially at a local bookstore. Um, I'm sure they can uh, appreciate your business, especially in this, this year. Um, but as always, my books are available anywhere books are sold, so um, have at it, and we'll talk to you in the next one. Take care.